Space between. What's going on, you guys? It's the Space Between Podcast, where we talk about space between life and art, passion and business, what's happening now, and what's happening next. I had some used uh, car salesman thing going on there, you know? Mm-hmm. Come on down! That's what I was saying. <laughs> to the Space Between. Come on down, Space Between! We got, we got comics! Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I'm Pat Shan. I'm Amy Shan. How I'm... fucking unprofessional! Oh, is not on silent. Alrighty. <laughs> and I'm Shannon Lee. Um, I think that we're here today to have an intervention, an intervention for Amy right now. Oh, because I'm obsessed with new phone games. Obsessed with new phone games, uh, phone going up during the podcast. I mean, I don't want to like fire <laughs> but you. What is this game? What is it? Okay, so I started playing a new game that I'm obsessed with because it's so fun, <clears throat> and you actually have to know things. It's called Pet World. Pet World. It's like Sims, plus, <gasps> but for pets. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm for pets. It. But also, it's kind of like Sims because of like the graphics is really cool like that. And, but there's one guy who's who works at who's helping you who works at this pet adoption place, and you're the other worker. So you get these animals in and you care for them. Their food levels, their health levels. You get you get them checked up, and it asks you like. These are the symptoms. What do you think is wrong? And Aww. I've had so many small animals that every hamster, every guinea pig thing, every like bunny, whatever, whatever, that I know the answers. So I'm just getting hella points. <laughs> nice. And I'm Killing match- it. Yeah. And I'm matching people to their rightfully adopted pets. Like one lady will pop up and I'll click her little picture and it'll say, hey, I, you know, I can only get one pet right now to make sure that my kids are going to care for it. Then I'll get another one. So I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get you guinea pigs because they need to be together. You guys can have a hamster oh my god oh matched happy Boom. camper more hamsters come in i brush them <laughs> yeah that's all i heard before was we were like hey amy are you ready and she's like i'm just brushing this bunny and I'm like, <laughs> like what is this game yeah oh my god i'm in it to win it bro so amy yeah um what's the game called again pet world you know what game i've been playing Snakes and Blacks. Snakes versus Blacks, yeah. Snakes versus Blacks. Oh Shannon, have you seen this ad on Facebook? No. Where it's like, it's yellow dots going into these blocks. It's on Facebook constantly. And I saw... It's on your Facebook constantly. It targeted you. <laughs> it targeted me. You got it. Because it knew about me. Yeah. You know? and it's like I, you would love this game. I watched the video for it, and I was like, I can do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it. I fucking love the game. Nice. Oh, hey, hey, little segue here um, into what we're going to be talking about today. But this is fucking creepy, okay? What? So, the other day, Amy's friend was over, and they were talking about vegan food. Mm-hmm. I asked them if they had tasted the Impossible Burger. Now, do you know what that is? No, where is that? The Impossible Burger is a, a uh, vegan burger... That bleeds and tastes like a normal oh, burger. Oh, but where yeah. is that offered? Well, well, okay, mostly in LA. Okay, but right now, motherfucking White Castle is offering Impossible Burger sliders. Get out yeah. of here, really? So yes, Amy's friend brings up that White Castle's offering these sliders. Okay, okay. and um, we say, oh, gotta go there. Mm-hmm. So later that night, <laughs> we get into Cassandra's car. Open up my phone. Just going to do some little Facebook browsing, you know. <laughs> my, you sound like Jeremy. Just going to do some Facebook browsing. <laughs> that was <laughs> Facebook browsing yeah. for anybody for that needs yeah. yeah. translation. <laughs> <laughs> I open up the app. The first thing I see, guess what that shit is? An ad for specifically White Castle's Impossible Burger. That's because they're listening. I that, know. Yes. yes. I'm telling you. They have to be. They, there's no question. Oh, yeah. It happens Straight to me up. just like every day. We didn't search it. Yeah. We just were talking about it. Just talked about, about it. it. It's fucked up, you they guys. Hear us. It is. It's fucked up. Us. Man. Um, so, of course, this brings us into the most controversial topic 
will ever cover. Oh boy. Fast food comparisons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to talk about specific items at fast food restaurants and see which one is the best. Which fast food restaurant represents the motherfucking hardest. This is our most requested podcast. We've been asked to do not an episode, but an entire podcast about yeah. this. So we're doing this one episode to start. But got to say, got to make it fair here. Shannon, you are a vegetarian or pescatarian? Which one? Uh, vegetarian, but I teeter between a pescatarian for a not so hot second. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Sometimes I'm like, I just want like a fish sandwich right now, so and fuck I it. I don't deny myself of it. I I just have it. But that's as, it goes as far as like a fish sandwich. My mom makes bomb salmon, so I'll eat some of that, and then like. Maybe like lobster here and there, right. like if it's just like ready to go, like yeah. I don't have to see anything happening. And you know why I eat lobster? Butter, you guys. Yeah. It's not even, I can't even taste the lobster. I drown that shit in butter yeah. and then that's all I can taste. I just should just sit there and drink the butter, really. Mm -hmm. And you know what too, I, I think. I love lobster with melted butter, you're so <laughs> right. I drown that shit too. Yeah. I think I'm not alone in this, that of all the animal kingdom, Fuck fish, am I right? <laughs> I like, like I can't help it either. You know, <laughs> I, I'm here for all the animals, but honestly, like fish. Sometimes I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know. Yeah. Like, and I work at a pet store, and I see fish, and sometimes I'm like, I, well, not sometimes. I do feel bad that they're in small areas. They shouldn't be there at all. I don't understand it. And people come and they want to <laughs> make fish tanks and all this stuff, and I'm like, I don't even understand the hobby. I think it's right. a lot. Like, they have to, they spend more money, like, maintaining the fish tank than they spend for the fish. Fish are like a dollar, and then they spend, like, a hundred or more, like, on just, like, water solutions right. and this and that, and it's just a very intense hobby. Every week they're coming and they're like, <laughs> now it's cloudy, now yeah. it's like algae, now it's this and that, and we continually have to keep selling them stuff. It's for people that stuff. need something to do all the, all the, all the time. Yes. Especially <laughs> when you have a salt water tank, the maintenance of it to keep it at the exact levels for every organism that you have to be able to live at its most high quality mm -hmm. is literally impossible. Yeah, To the fact crazy. where you're checking your levels like at least... 30 times a day. It's insane. And you're like, oh, you can do more salt. Oh, a little more pH. Yes. Oh, this light could be a little bit tweaked. Yes. This could be a tiny bit warmer. This could be moved over here to be in the light. This coral could be a little bit deeper because <laughs> it's like, you know, like every single thing has its own specification because every single thing comes from the ocean. Mm -hmm. And the ocean is so big and you try to cram it together in one small tank. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. Like, it, yeah, you cannot. It's impossible. You're so knowledgeable about this. Well, she like knows. sometimes you can get your little, own little ecosystem started and then it starts feeding like itself but starting an actual tank especially a saltwater tank is so hard and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars even when i was maintaining fish tanks that's the thing P the people were so rich that they just wanted a fish tank and they would hire me to clean and maintain it once a week yeah after this the was thing one was of already going. jobs yeah yeah because they didn't want to do it wild. they just wanted to have it mm -hmm. it's either a hobby or like something you have as decoration because you're mad mad rich yeah or you're you are consumed by it i, I feel like because that's what i was like i had a 60 gallon salt water tank in my bedroom and like that's what i it was like a project every yeah, single every day, day to make sure things didn't die yeah every every time we have a customer come in that like recently got a tank their follow-up answer is like man i wish i never did this <laughs> like oh, it's God. like you feel like it's depressing damn <laughs> It's like a black hole of money, too. Yeah, it really it's is. It's like, okay, you get the tank, then you get all this water, and then you get, like, it's like the rule of thumb is, like, say you have, like, a 20-gallon tank that you want to make into a coral tank, then you have to get 20 pounds of live rock in order to get that ecosystem going. Wow. That's the rule of thumb is, like, a pound of live cultured rock per gallon of water. So imagine you have a 60-gallon tank, you need to buy 60 oh, gallons of rock. That's insane. Which is, like, seven ninety nine. dollars Five ninety nine to seven ninety nine a pound. Yeah, and then you have to Ugh. sit it in that tank, looking all desolated <laughs> in the tank with nothing else in it, while it's like running the water for like at least like I don't know, it's been a while, but like a couple weeks a or week, a month. Yeah, definitely. You know? Jesus Christ. Yeah, because you have to start like that ecosystem. Yeah, people where it's come in like ready close. to get a fish, and you're like, come back next month, like exactly. when you have your tank set up. Unless it's a beta, like yeah. you fucked. 
It's wild. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wild. Yeah, I'm sorry we went off that on that. That's crazy. why when my fuck friend that. back home wanted to get a tank, I was like, all right, we'll get you a little fresh water, some, some. And it still turned out <laughs> looking like shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Super brown. Because I wasn't there to maintain it. Yeah. And, like, people don't know how. They just want, they like what it looks like clean, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean. Because it's beautiful. This is a good place to start, though, um, about maintaining fish. What fast food joint has the best fish oh, sandwich? Yo, I know. I'm sorry we went off on that, you guys. But, no, like, no. we had some fish feelings. I, I like that. I, like, I, but I love yeah. things that Amy, Amy is so knowledgeable about so many things. And I remember it was so cool to watch her clean her fish tank. Because she just, she knows a lot. And it's just yeah. fun to watch mm -hmm. her do that. It's Doing interesting when you have those, like, unique, uh, knowledgeable qualities <laughs> about things. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty random. So, um, fish sandwich. I mean, I get mine at Burger King, which so far, if we're talking about favorite places, Burger King is like a top for me. Yeah. Like, I always loved their fries since I was a kid. Um, like, we had a Burger King and a McDonald's, like, sort of almost across the street from each other. And it's like I would maybe go get something at McDonald's, but be like, can we also stop at Burger King before we go home? Because I want their fries. Right. Um but yeah, I get their fish sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, so of, I mean, the restaurants that I know have a fish sandwich. Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. I'm thinking Checkers, right? They, they have to have know. something. Um, I guess. I've but never BK had wins out for you? Yeah. I've never had a fish sandwich from anywhere but McDonald's. You get the filet of fish. Mm -hmm. How is that? I like it. They have that steamed bun it's, for that one. Yeah, it's warm. And it's like very... Portable, so I can eat it while I'm driving fast, mm -hmm. and it's good. I like the flavor, and I like the yellow cheese melted all over it, and the tartar sauce is good. The bun's really soft, and it's always warm. Here, I can't chime in because I don't eat fish. I, oh, yeah. I don't eat seafood at all. Yeah. So, um, here we are. Sharon? I need to experiment more. I've never been like, yeah, ask that question. Now I'm, real I'm realizing that, yeah, I haven't Me tried too, too I wanna many. I want to go get a fish sandwich at Burger King now because yeah. I didn't yeah. even know and that now, existed. Yeah, I want to try some different places. Yeah, Checkers has that nice batter. Ooh, it could be good. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, it could be. So, you say BK. Amy says McDonald's because you've only tried Yeah, McDonald's. that's the only one I've had. Yeah, um, wait, let us know, you guys. Because yeah, please. Because we, we, neither of us, like, really know. Mm -hmm. So. And if we get maybe enough comments or whatever or people chime in... Maybe I'll try a fish sandwich. What about oh like treachers? <laughs> Ooh, are there treachers? Yeah. Is that fast food though or is it like ordering? That's what I was what wondering is that? because I know that they're the one that's like it's Nathan and Arthur Treachers at the mall. What is Smith Arthur Treachers? It's like fish and chips. Yeah. Oh. So I wonder if they that have could a fish be good sandwich. That could have, be good. Yeah, they have like, you know, the fried like cod, the white fish, yeah, yeah. and then the chips. Yeah. With like vinegar or whatever and salt. Super nice. Good. Oh hey, do you know um Pudgy's chicken? I don't go to Pudgy's. Well, oh, yeah, you don't eat chicken. No, but, like, but I, 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 yeah, I've, like, never been there. Check this, though. The Pudgies here, uh -huh. it's Pudgies, Nathan's, and Arthur Treacher's. Oh, okay. Three of them. And Nathan's, I love corn dogs. So oh, I really? Nathan's, I don't yeah. think I've ever had a corn dog. Are unless, you serious? Unless maybe when I was young uh, at, like, a carnival. I, I, I can't even remember. Wait, do you dip those in mustard? Yeah. That's why I don't like mustard. Well, well, you, you can, can put it in. You just eat them. You could just eat them by himself because the corn... Bread, like around the hot dog is yeah. super moist. Yeah. As a kid, I wonder if I ever had it. Would you ever uh, cheat on your vegetarian diet that much that you eat a corn dog? No, I wouldn't. Is but you know what they have? What? Um, I don't know if they have it at Nathan's, but at Hot Dog on a Stick in California. <laughs> <laughs> Word, they just went for it. It's listen. a hot dog on a stick, you guys. But listen, though. <laughs> You're a vegetarian. They take cubes of, like, long cubes of rectangle of cheddar cheese yeah. or a jalapeno jack cheese. Yeah. Like a thin rectangle cube. Now That's, I'm, like, the shape of a hot dog, I'm basically. Into it. Yeah. And they put it on the stick, and then they deep fry that in the same thing. That so then I'm it's here melted for. on the inside. Yeah. You bite that shit open, and it's, like, yellow cheese. Melted. I'm it's totally so here for that. that. Oof, that sounds good yeah. to yeah. me. Hot dog on a stick, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and they have the cutest uniforms. We've never gone there. Really? It's at the UTC mall. Fuck's, fuck's the problem. The yeah. uniforms are so nerdy That and makes adorable. me think of Buffy. Oh, the Double Meat Palace. Yeah. Yes, it's and just her, like, like that. That's fucking hilarious. I'm pretty sure that's what they were talking about when they did this. Because it wasn't California Sunnydale. Yeah. Uh, do you want to move on to fries? Yeah. Because fries you could do. Fries is my fries is Burger King and Checkers and uh, 
There's definitely another. Say some. I, I can't think right. of some. Because there are some that are just West Coast that I like a lot. Yeah. Um, Jack in the Box has good fries. Who, yo, what fries I'm loving right now? Because um, Burger King, I used to like their fries a lot. But they have changed. Dairy Queen's fries are the classic old school Burger King fry. So, if you ever go to Dairy Queen and you want a nice fry that reminds you of classic Burger King, fucking nice. Dairy Queen, yeah. I love Dairy Queen. They have the best spicy jalapeno burger. Oh, yeah, the flamethrower. Yeah, it's so good. Can I just say that Amy just showed me a picture of the uniform from the hot dog on a stick people? Yeah. yeah. And it finally clicked in my head. In Fresh Prince of Bel Air, his younger sister, well, it's not. Will Ashley? Smith's, but yeah, Ashley goes to work at a hot dog place. I think it was specifically yeah. a hot dog, and their outfit looks like that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit, called out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the hot dog on a stick when we go to California. Please, I love it. <laughs> so good. So, fries, you say Burger King or Checkers. Yeah. Right? So, we got Shannon's down for uh, BK and Checkers. I'm going to chime in here now and say yeah. mine are mcdonald's and checkers okay i love mcdonald's you wouldn't say dairy queen now that you said that they're similar to burger king's i wouldn't put them in my top two Mm. i would put them maybe top five you'd really say mcdonald's they're always soggy yeah i like that though soggy and salty some people do yeah i used to think that mcdonald's had the worst fries because i worked there and Mm -hmm. i was over it Mm -hmm. but now that i'm just a consumer Man, McDonald's fries are banging out. It's like, see, I'm like now realizing what the public sees. Oh, is. also, I do like those Taco Bell French fries. They're good. I think they're fine. They're good. I don't know how I feel about that dipping sauce still, but like, I think they're good. Like, I get them every time I go there now. I don't trust Taco Bell to keep them. Taco Bell, yeah, they won't. It's but... fucking savage. They'll yeah. introduce an item and pull that shit back. Yeah, they definitely will. That's fucking messed up. Um, so Taco Bell, if you hear this. I won't accept your sponsorship. Stop. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> Until you bring back your rolled tacos. <laughs> bring on back. Bring yeah. on back. No, seriously, though. All right. So, Shannon, BK, and Checkers. Mm-hmm. Pat, Checkers, and McDonald's. Amy, best fries. Two McDonald's of them. McDonald's and Jack in the Box. Okay. okay. Ooh, got a Jack in the Box in here. <laughs> but the curly fries specific. Ooh. How about... All right. So, for those who don't know, in California... There are two major fast food restaurants that are not out here. Jack in the Box and Carl's Jr. And uh, and In-N-Out. In-N-Out. But In-N-Out to me is, I pair that more like a Five Guys or a Shake Shack type shit. See, right? In-N-Out, yeah, I do agree. In-N-Out, I am so bummed that I've, I've never had because they have a vegetarian option. They do. Mm. Like In-N-Out. They have a veggie burger? Yeah. Nice. In-N-Out to me of its competitors is... The worst one. But mm. I'm going to try it again with no judgment. I'm going to go in fresh. You're going to get in and you're going to get out? I'm going to do an actual review of it. I'm going to hope it's good. I'm going to get in and I'm going to get out. I just process that. You <laughs> smart. Love it, yeah. Love it, yeah. All right. So with the fries here, I'm seeing two McDonald's and two checkers. So it's looking like it's looking McDonald's good. and checkers are the winners here. Is there anybody's fries that compare to checkers, like a heavy seasoned fry? No. No. Yeah, Jack I mean, in the Box curly fries. Oh, really? Yeah, they're close, but to me, Jack Without the, the black pepper. Mm. Jack in the Box curly fries remind me very much of Arby's fries. Yeah, but they're a little bit more seasoned. Like they're in between checkers and Arby's because checkers has that big, those big black pepper. Ooh, so good. Which I like, <laughs> but. And then Jack in the Box is like just as crispy as yes. those, but doesn't have the black pepper. And Arby's is a little bit less crispy and a little more like on the natural tasting side. That's true. Oh, hey, speaking of natural, let's point this out. Wendy's had a good thing going. Wendy's had a nice potato-y, non-natural cut fry. And then they're like, yo, let's go to natural cut. You know, let's appeal to the hipsters and shit. Whoever likes natural cut. I don't know who it is, but whoever does. Yo. Wendy's fries for the past few years since they introduced the natural cut motherfucking fries have been trash. No, so bad. No. So bad. Oh yeah. Come on, yo. What are you what is you doing, Wendy's? Yeah. Um what I've noticed too is that Wendy's, I'm sure that you guys know this, is fucking savage on Twitter. And Wendy's is coming at McDonald's head on Twitter <laughs> about their um uh frozen beef. Because yeah. McDonald's uses frozen beef. Wendy's uses fresh beef. Like, it makes a fucking difference. Wendy's beef, to me, is among the worst in fast food. 
It's just dry. It's not seasoned. McDonald's has always been the to me the the best burger beef. So McDonald's has recently switched their larger sandwiches, their quarter pounders, to fresh beef. I gotta say, she's not as good. Oh, that makes damn. me fucking nasty, probably. But it isn't as good. It always comes through like a little bit underdone these days, and it's like. I don't want a medium rare burger from McDonald's. I don't want fucking worms, you know? <laughs> On that note of burgers, what burgers do you guys like? Shannon is like nothing. Yeah, nothing. I'm trying to look up. Do you like the veg- veg- veggie burger from really White Castle? <laughs> I, I like, didn't know that they had one. I mean, yeah, I've tried veggie the veggie burger at uh, Burger King, and it's dry as fuck most of the time. Well, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get the veggie burger with cheese on it at in uh, White Castle, like, and a jalapeno cheese on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Like a spicy veggie burger, and it's quite, pretty good. It's really green, though. It's made out of, like, peas or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's made out of It has, peas. like, a, a flavor like that, you know, like a green flavor. Yeah, yeah. But it's not bad. It's I want to try this Impossible Burger. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. It sounds gross at the same time. Man, I'm trying to find this place, but I can't find the name what of place? it. What place? Um, it's in a mall that's closer to your parents' house. I'm not going to say the name. Um, and you worked near it. I worked near it? Yeah. Just say it. I'm not saying every, every name I'll of bleep the it out if it's that we're thing. near. I'll bleep it out. I worked there. I'll bleep it out. Just say it. Mall. Oh yeah, no, I, I know the mall. What what food? I don't know the p- name of the place. What? Wait, Charlie's. Oh, the Does the that the sound is it the uh, cheesesteak place? Yes. Yes, Charlie's. Okay. Yeah. Yummy. Charlie's is good. Hey, Shannon. Right. Spoilers. Charlie's is in every mall. It, well, okay. It was new to it was new to where we were. Well, anyway, so some place where I get food is Charlie's because they can make me a regular like veggie sandwich. That's good. And stuff. Yeah, with yeah. that nice roll. Yeah, so when places don't have meat that I could eat, I'll just get a bunch of vegetables on something like Subway, but fuck Subway. Subway is trash. It's always like hard bread. Yeah, so it's so not hard. very fresh yeah, like they say. So at least Charlie's can make me like a good sandwich. And it's the cheese is hella good. They have decent fries. My favorite is the flamethrower from Dairy Queen and Bacon McDouble from McDonald's for a small one. All right, all right. I'm going to go with McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese. Definitely before they kind of like bow down to Wendy's bullshit. <laughs> I want some frozen beef is what I want. Mm-hmm. I'm a nasty boy. Okay? Oh my goodness. So, some freef? I want that freef. And I want it, before I eat it, I want it to be a fucking hard as ice puck. Oh, shit. Okay? Uh, damn. And then, because they're, they're going to season it up nicely. It's it's just better. I don't know what it is, but they, McDonald's has to get used to their maybe new methods. Mm. But it isn't the same. Go back to the way it was, Mickey D's. Mm. But I'm going to go with Amy too. The flamethrower is amazing. Mm-hmm. I'll say this about Wendy's though. Wendy's has very fresh toppings. They always put a nice fresh green entire motherfucking head of lettuce on, on the burgers <laughs> so much lettuce lettuce so so much lettuce um and a nice uh ring of tomato that i just throw the fuck off because who needs that you know <laughs> on the burger you know what i used to get from wendy's i would get their loaded baked potato i would get that a lot but otherwise Amy like there isn't a lot of options yeah i like for me. their sides like the baked potato yeah i also get the cup of chili i know you can't get that but that's good to me i like how they have different sides that are not regular for fast food yeah, places. Yeah, I'll get their salads. They've sometimes had some good salads that has a decent amount of stuff in them. They try to add mm-hmm. instead of just like, oh, it's lettuce yeah. and tomato. Like, And I love their strawberry lemonade. Oh, yeah. Let's do one more item, you guys. Let's do the chicken sandwich. And I'm sorry, Shannon. I'm oh, sorry. You I can't. Know. <laughs> you're, you're not invited to Are this we going to leave out Taco Bell? It's hard to compare, though. It is hard to compare, but I will say Taco Bell has the most vegetarian options. Hey, okay. So, yeah. hey, that's its own category. Yeah. Shout out. Vegetarian options. Yeah. Taco Bell. Taco Bell is like the only that, one. Right? Yeah, they totally sweep it. I get the power veggie burrito there or like a black bean burrito, a regular bean burrito. Um, you could get the, the bowl like how uh, Chipotle has. They have their own version, which is honestly fine. I don't think it's that bad or anything. Mm-hmm. Right. I think it's fine. Um, 
What else will I get there? Any, like the quesadilla, well, not chicken. Right. Cheesy roll-ups, which I will get to just fucking eat cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you have, like, bean stuff there? Yeah. I could, anything, even, like, with, like, the the meat i the meat <laughs> but you know their right? type of meat like yeah. you just switch it to beans i mean so i could get like a crunch wrap thing yeah. or like it's next to the same consistency too yeah exactly <laughs> they're meeting the beans. exactly it's not like that much of a difference true. it's just mush it's true the seven i mean it's good mush though taco mm -hmm. yeah, so taco bell wins vegetarian options for sure mcdonald's and checkers wins fries fish sandwich we have a tie between bk and mcdonald's let's do our last one right here Chicken sandwich, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll start this off. Until this month, I would have said Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich takes it. Mm -hmm. I'd say that they're probably still the most consistent, but Burger King's spicy chicken sandwich, they introduced a spicy crispy chicken sandwich. Yo, when that is good, <laughs> it is, um, I don't want to say dreams come true, <laughs> But it's amazing. It's the bread, the spices in the breading. And I think that a lot of fast food places make the mistake of adding a spicy sauce to a lame ass, dry ass chicken breast. That's true. And then you're yeah. like drowning it in sauce because yeah. that's the only way you're getting flavor. Yes. So that's impressive. Not what I'm looking for. You know, I, yeah. It needs to be in the breading. Like Popeyes. Mm -hmm. If you order spicy chicken wings, you don't want buffalo wings, you want spicy chicken wings. McDonald's, I mean, uh, Wendy's and BK both deliver on that front. Wendy's, the spice is actually in the breast too, and they're more consistent. But when Burger King hits that high and it's fresh, mm, so good. However, when Burger King serves you up one of those has been sitting there as spicy chicken sandwiches, it's so hard and the spice has like congealed and it's just so fucking spicy. It's a killer. Oh, man. How about you, love? I still go with Wendy's because I haven't had the Burger King one enough. And Wendy's has always been there with the spice. It's true. <laughs> Instead of just... They've always brought the spice. Yeah, because I, like, I want a spicy chicken sandwich a lot. And then I, and I want to get one from Burger King or something, but the only option is Wendy's, and it's good. So it's I'm true. glad for, that they have it. Consistency's there. It's really good. And I always get it with just cheese and tomato. And the fresh tomato is like just juicy enough that I don't need souse. It's true. And it's really good to me. What I'm it's learning, a staple. What I'm learning here is that we're coming away from this with no clear winner. <laughs> I think that what we need, we need all of the fast food restaurants to create a beautiful, harmonious environment. You know, sometimes you need some checkers fries. Sometimes <laughs> you need a Burger King BK fresh chicken sandwich. Sometimes you need to go an old school vibe, head over to Dairy Queen, Get some of those fries that remind you of when you were young and had no goddamn problems and shit, you know? <laughs> and you get that nice, spicy flamethrower burger. Or you head to McDonald's, talk to them and say, hey, I know Wendy's has been bullying you. It's okay. You can go back to the way where no one had a problem with you. Everything's okay, Mickey D's. <laughs> Serve me up that hard, frozen meat. I love you still. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Who has the best ball pit? Oh, shit. Um, whichever one doesn't have a goddamn syringe hidden yeah. somewhere. <laughs> Wherever there isn't band-aids. Yes. Ugh, always band-aids. Or like you enter a tunnel and you're like, someone just farted here. And That's that someone is probably me oh as God. a kid. All I have in my head during this was Bon Quiqui. The like oh, Mad TV skit Mad TV? where she's wow. like, "Welcome to King Burger, I'm Bon mm -hmm. Quee Quee." <laughs> oh my god, yo! How about how about Ed from Good Burger? Hell yeah! Hell I would yeah. like Welcome nothing more. Welcome to Good more. Burger, home of the Good Burger. Karen, thank, thank you all. Order. I would love nothing more than to try the Good Burger from the movie. That special recipe. Ooh, hell yeah! Childhood dreams. I but, mean, what about SpongeBob's special recipe? Amy just perked up. Amy loves SpongeBob. <laughs> but we'll talk about fast food again. We have much more to say. We are obsessed with fast food. We want to cover certain items, get into all that stuff. But for now, are we good on this? Yeah, just comment and tell us uh, what you think. Maybe yeah. that's how we can pool together what the w real winners are here. Yeah, tell us if we're wrong. Or you if know. you have any suggestions that we missed. Yeah, tell us to try stuff. Yeah, what like great place are we like fucking up with and we yes. don't know about? Give us your trashiest opinions. <laughs> Seriously, we'll take them all. 
Um, but yeah, that's it, you guys. Our theme song is written and performed by Amy Shand. Our banner art is illustrated by Ryan Best. I'm freestyling right now. Um, you can hear our podcast on the SoundCloud app or on iTunes. Watch our vlog on YouTube every week on Thursdays. Oh, what else? Oh, yeah, find us on, on social media. I'm tripping right now. <laughs> social media, at Space Between Ent, everywhere. Email us questions at spacebetweenent at gmail.com. Again, thank you for listening. Thank you. Stay unhealthy. <laughs> and uh, bye, bye guys. guys.